Well, Galatians says it is for freedom that he set us free. Like God created freedom so he could give it to us. Yeah. So we would have a hope whenever we feel like we are captive. Do you know where I learned the most about freedom? Where? About 10 years ago. Uh-huh. Played uh, four nights in a prison. That's where I learned about freedom. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. I saw freedom in the lives of men, all dressed in white, standing behind four feet of concrete and barbed mm. wire in ways that I had not seen in churches in years. Yeah. Because those guys, they understood the importance of grace. Yeah. They understood the need for mercy. And for a lot of us, the greatest gift that God can give us, and this mm-hmm. is hard to hear, is need. Mm. Because if we didn't need him, hmm. then we would never, we wouldn't have to know him. Yeah. But whenever we do feel captured and we do feel captive by the things that are around us, God says, this is okay. Because if you need me, mm-hmm. I'm going to be there. Yeah. If you need freedom, I created freedom so I could give it to you. Yeah. I created grace so I could give it to you. I created mercy out of my goodness so that I could lavish it mm. on your life. Yeah. So again, this is, and this is not one of those books where it's like, okay, I know how to be free and I'm totally free now and come and watch what I did. Yeah. That's not how it works. This is me walking through my own workings of what freedom looks like and just saying, can we walk together? That's why we mm-hmm. put it in steps. And so every seventh day yeah. of this study, it's a retracing your step. It's where we go, hey, instead of just like trudging forward, let's look back on the last six steps mm. and say, what step was hard? Yeah. What step was easy? What did we learn? What do we take? What do we still have to grow in right now? So it's like this daily recountance mm-hmm. and remembrance and reminding of going like, okay, we may not be feel like that we have, we're not crossing a finish line until we are in heaven, right? Mm. Yeah. We are running a race, right? Yep. But sometimes if I told you, hey, we're going to go 42 steps this way. Mm -hmm. And I just told you we're going to walk through the studio here. You go. Great. Right. But if I put a canyon below you and I put a tire open between it, those 42 steps feel really, really big right now. So this is not one of those. This is not one of those books where I'm going like, hey, everyone start the same place. We're all going the same direction. It's all Mm -hmm. good. We're all going in the same direction. We've all been invited to the same freedom, Mm -hmm. but we, but we are maybe starting from different spots on the road here, but we can all gather together and just say, God, I need you. I need your freedom. And I feel like you are good enough to give it to me. And then Mm. then we just walk in it. 